bikini or swimsuit? Hmm. You're better off with a swimsuit in the water park. Why? You'll be riding down slides and rafting on rapids. That bikini could fall off. Ew. <laughs> swimsuit then. Hurry, sweetie. Daddy's here. Come on. Hey, that's my gorgeous girl. You ready for your big dive? Maybe. Ah, oh, come on now. You got this. Will you go out with me? Of course I will. But if you change your mind while you're up there, that's OK, too. She won't change her mind. She's got this. Right, baby? Your mom forget your goggles again? I think they're in the bathroom under the sink. Come on, go get them. I was thinking after we can get some sushi. Maybe you can join us. Thanks, but I have plans. A date? I don't ask you that. There's nothing to ask me. We're doing well. Maddie's used to the routine. Let's just keep the boundaries. You know, for somebody who's supposed to be so nice, you sure have a hard time forgiving. Got him. OK. Well, you have a lovely time with Daddy, OK? OK. Uh, all right, here you go. Take this. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> Take him back? No. I mean, people make mistakes. Yeah, but I didn't divorce him because he cheated. I did it because we were a bad fit. Josh isn't just assertive, he's controlling. Just because I'm quiet does not mean I like giving away my power. I mean, you can always defend yourself. You think I didn't try? It is his way or no way. I've learned a lot these last few years. I know what I want, and it is not Josh. So? Does this mean you're back on the market? Maybe. <laughs> Finally, give me your phone. <laughs> Why? I am about to create the most perfect dating profile ever. <sighs> you're gonna be up to your ears in men. I don't wanna be up to my ears in anything, especially men. And no offense, Charlotte, but I don't think you know me well enough yet. Yep. I mean, just let me try. It won't go live until you say. What do you have to lose? But I'm hungry, so. <laughs> OK, we can go over to my house, and I'll make you something. Awesome. I just need your Instagram so I can steal some photos. Oh, and... my god. Hey, baby, I'm going for a run. You going to be all right? Sure. All right, cool. And hey, keep your phone. We can see in case I got to call you. And don't let anybody in the house, you understand me? OK. All right, I love you. <laughs> How did you get these photos? Off social media. Not that there was much to take. Do you not have any photos of you in a dress or a bikini? No, and I would not post them even if I did. Girl, why not? You are fine as hell. I don't know why you try to play it down. I don't think I do. Are you kidding? When you're not in scrubs, you're wearing gray or beige. That is not true. But if that's my style, then why would I pretend it isn't? The guy's either going to like me for who I am, or he's not. OK. I'll give you that. But I still think you should shake things up a little bit. I dress sexy because it makes me feel alive. Yeah, and I hate it because it makes me feel self-conscious. Oh, Sweetheart, that is a crying shame. A beautiful woman like you should own it. Anyway about this guy. What are you looking for? Someone kind. OK? I mean, physically. Do you want someone blonde, dark? What's your type? I don't know. I don't really have a type. Um, OK. The opposite of Josh. Yes, basically. <laughs> you know, Josh is really handsome, but what good is that if he's ugly on the inside? Yeah, you're right. Triple skinny latte? Enjoy. Hey. Girl, look what you did. Oh <laughs> my god. 45 likes? Not bad for someone so beige. 
<laughs> See, he's been texting me all week. Maybe he's just swiping on everyone. No, he super liked you. He has to pay extra for that. Aren't you chatting and swiping too? Yeah, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> but you got some heavy hitters. I know. How do I get through them all? Just be brutal. Delete anybody you're not attracted to. That'll get rid of at least 90% of them. I don't know, kind of shallow, don't you think? We are trying to secure a date, not a mercy mission. It's easy. Let me see. See, could you kiss this guy? Mm-mm. Damn, he's gone. <laughs> that easy. Dinner, sweetie. She make that dive? Not yet, but she will. I just gotta keep empowering her. Good. You're so patient with her. Why? Because I'm usually an ugly bully. I was giving you a compliment. Oh, you on this now? You know how many crazies are on there? Aren't you on there too? It's it's different for men and women. Women don't go around stalking, murdering, and raping men. You know what type of crazies you can bring into our lives? Our lives. Yes. I have the right to know who you bring around my daughter, Anna. Josh, you really think I would put Maddie at risk? God, credit me with some judgment, please. And I don't recall you ever asking permission for all the little women you introduced her to. How'd you get so damn vindictive? I try to be nice, I try to be good, and you won't even give me a chance. OK, you know what, Josh? Why don't you just go ahead and look up divorce? in the dictionary, because obviously you forgot what that meant. to mix our days up again. Mm. You would think you would have them down after two and a half years. <laughs> All right, you got me. I just thought it'd be a good idea to maybe surprise Maddie seeing mom and dad together again like, like the old days. Do I need to contact the lawyer again? For what? So they could tell me when and when I can't see my daughter? I mean, the judge already tried, but you keep ignoring it. Maybe we need a new protocol. Like what? Like, I dropped Maddie off at your place instead of you picking her up at mine. OK. So I'm that unpleasant where you can't let me in your house for five Passive minutes? Passive aggression is still aggression, Josh. You know what, just drop her off at my place by 8. And please make sure she does her homework. Now we're talking. <laughs> I love this hair and zero page. Hey, not there. That's reserved. It doesn't say that. I just did. That'll give me a clear line of sight in case you need some rescuing. Oh, well, I'll be fine. You are so pretty and smart, yet so naive. <laughs> Let me clean this first. Stand up when I die here. Give me a proper look at you. At what, my body? Not me. You're fit and all, but I can help you shrink that body fat.
the second I saw your photo. I just knew. It's in your eyes. Can you see it in mine? Something wrong? Oh, yeah. Somebody's dog's been pooping in my yard. I set up webcams. Catch the culprit any second. Oh, you got a suspect in mind? Yeah, yeah I it started when some hipster dude moved in. Oh, so it's not a dog then. <laughs> what? No, the hipster has a dog. <laughs> Are you mocking me? No, 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 no. Wow, pretty fool yourself for a single mom. What, so I'm dismissed now? No. I am. Is he gone? Yeah. And he didn't leave a tip. Cheapskate. Are you done for the day? No, I have one more person, and then I am done forever. Ooh. Girl, I am on my 30th, and it's only April. Why, though? This is so demoralizing. You and I oh. just we don't look down. Hannah, I'm Daniel. Wow, I know you're even prettier in person. And so are you, but I'm sure you get that all the time. Thanks, but I don't think I've ever been called pretty before. <laughs> what do you have? Um, black coffee, please. Hannah? Oh, I already know what she wants. Why don't you two perfect human beings just grab a seat and I'll be right with you? Sure. Do I, you have a... Um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, no. You first. No, no, you. Please. You sure? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I was going to say, uh, I almost swore off never using this app again. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't take my own advice. Well, why did you swear at all? You know, you're actually the only second date I ever had on this app. I didn't want to go online at all. But I'm an architect. I'm around guys mostly, so. Same here. I mean, I'm either at home with my kid or with my patients. Oh, so you're a doctor? Occupational therapist. Less hectic, easier to parent. Boy or girl? Would you mind that I didn't share that information just yet? I'm just, I'm really nervous about this whole situation. So. Hey, sure, no problem. No phone numbers, low, no last names. <laughs> <laughs> Not until you're ready. Not to be a hypocrite and ask you for personal information, but I'm curious. What was it about the last date that was so bad? Ah, uh, the first date was great. Mm -hmm. As well as the next, and the next one. We had a connection, you know, we hit it off. Things started moving fast. It, badly. I'm sorry. I'm not. I mean, I'm not sorry that it ended, but I am sorry that it Got ugly. That bad, huh? Yeah, you know, I don't want to be that guy that rants one about the past. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but I want you to know that I am a sincere guy. And I really do want to be with someone. I just believe that it takes time mm -hmm. to get to know the other person. You got to avoid jumping on that magic carpet, if you know what I mm -hmm. mean. <laughs> she knows exactly what you mean. OK, thank you, Charlotte. <laughs> You guys are buddies, huh? Yeah, well, neighbors, actually. You know, she just moved in probably the beginning of this year, but she's already made a really huge impact in my life. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> seems like quite the character. She is. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I didn't really know I was lonely until she came around. Mm. Well. New friends. Stop it. <laughs> 
So when did you know you wanted to be an architect? Wow. Uh, when I built my first Lego skyscraper. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a rector set as well, so I could easily win in engineering. But mm -hmm. either way, building things, mm -hmm. the bigger the better. Mm -hmm. so how about you? How did you get into occupational therapy? Well, I got pregnant my first year of med school, mm. so that was a pivot. You know, I still get to help people and be a stay-at-home mom, so it worked out perfectly. I bet you're an amazing mom. Her name is Madison. Maddie. She's wonderful. Yeah, I don't doubt it, not one bit. Hopefully, maybe one day, I'll get the opportunity to meet her. Thank you. You're welcome. do that <laughs> apparently not you must really like him huh because I'm wearing makeup I heard you singing in the shower would you be okay with it if I did like him just kid what's not to like <laughs> I'm here we're upstairs oh wow you have a new outfit <laughs> Ooh, finally something I can borrow is that makeup? Okay, <laughs> I am liking this new Hannah. Uh, girl, he's just so cute. I'm just trying to keep up. Wait, so is this like the third date? Fifth. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, if you want me to stay late, just let me know. I will let you know. <laughs> Best lips. You got a car babysitting again? It's not your night. It might as well be if you're gonna be hanging out every damn night, Hannah. I haven't hung out in years and you know it. What do you even know about this dude? I know he's not an asshole. Hannah, if you get this, Hannah, Hannah! I can't believe how easy this dating thing is. <sighs> I'm so nervous about this whole process. Yeah, I keep expecting some meteor to fall out the sky or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we both have good karma coming. I mean, we both deserve to be happy too, right? Yeah. I, mean, I try to be good, but uh, I think you got me beat in that department. I know you're a good man, Daniel. I can feel it. And I love that you have You let me know whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Really? Mm hmm Okay. Let's go to my place. Hey, Anna. Hey, Cara. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Maddie went straight to bed, no problems. How about you? Actually, yeah, I was calling to see if I could still take you up on that offer. Oh, you want me to stay over? Would you, please? Of course. <laughs> okay, you can take my room. I'll sleep in with Maddie. Okay. Have fun. Thank you, Cara. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Hi. Impressive. Thank you. You're welcome. You build this yourself? Well, me and all my actual builders. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. Okay.
make it home before Maddie wakes up. Okay, well, let me walk you out. No, 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 no. I'm fine. Go back to sleep. No, no, I'll no, walk you out. I'm, I promise. I'm okay. Just go back to sleep. Yeah? Mm hmm. Go back to sleep. Well, text me when you get home. I will. Why are you sleeping in here? Car is in my bed. I stayed out late. Did you guys kiss? Me and Cara? <laughs> no, silly. You and Daniel. A lady never tells. So that means you did kiss him. You want pancakes? Waffles. All right, go shower. I'll start breakfast. I need you to go and take Maddie to school. She's in Charlotte's right now eating breakfast. I have to go back in the house and get her stuff. Has she seen all this? Mm -mm. Not yet. So what am I going to tell Maddie? Tell her that mom thought she saw a problem and asked the police to come. She's smarter than both of us, Agnes. She's not going for that. Josh, then just make something up. OK, just don't tell her about Kara. I don't want her worrying all day at school. All right. So you found the body. When's the last time you saw the victim alive? Um, about seven last night. She was babysitting for me. You didn't see her when you got home? No, I got home really late. I just went straight to my daughter's room. How late? Uh, four, maybe 5 AM. Do you usually stay out that late? No, that's the first time she's done it since our divorce. I'm seeing someone now. Were you in the house when the victim was murdered? No, I have my own place. I'm just here because Hannah called me over. And where were you last night? By four in the morning, I was in bed sleeping. Was anybody with you? No. I'm going to need your name, contact information, place of work. And from you, Hannah, I'm going to need... Was Cara. OK. And the guy you were with last night? Daniel. Now, is that a one-night stand, or were you planning on seeing him again? I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. Let me ask a good question, though. Just trying to identify persons of interest and what order they should go on that list. That's why I'm asking. Are you going to see him again? I mean, yeah, but we didn't make any actual plans yet. Now, you said you went straight to your daughter's room. Why didn't Kara sleep in there? Because I told her she could stay in my room. Like I said, it was the first time I've been out in a while, so it felt weird. I wanted to be there when Maddie woke up. Did Kara ever invite friends over when she babysat? No. 
Are you sure? I can ask Maddie, but I'm almost certain she didn't. And who's Maddie? My daughter. Kara was a very open person. She would have said something if she wanted people over. Well, we're going to need access over here over the next few days. So is there anywhere else you can stay? Yeah, okay. she, she can stay with me. I don't mind. Charlotte, my neighbor, she has room for me and Maddie. OK. I'll be in touch. Why would anyone want to hurt Kara? The detective said that she might have been into some things we didn't know about. If we'll figure it out. She's putting Maddie to bed. Thank you for letting them stay here, but they should be home with me. It's safer that way. You know I saw you last night. What? Don't what me. I saw you in your car. It was 2 o'clock in the morning. What the hell were you doing? I, I waited on Anna. I knew she was on her date. It got late. I figured she was going with him, so I left. Well, I gave the detective your name and told her you were sitting outside. So you're officially a person of interest. Hey. Hey. She asleep? Yeah. I brought food. I'm not hungry. Did Josh leave? Yes. He said he's home if you need him. Do you have a gun? No. You should probably get one. No, Maddie's so young and I'm so clumsy I'd be afraid to use it. You can learn. I did. It's always taped the same place, so I always know where to find it. I released this. That's a funny looking gun. It's a stun gun. Taser. Would it kill someone? If you blast enough faults to the heart, maybe. Tilt it so that the probe spread. The higher the voltage, the more they seize, the more time you have to get away. I can't even imagine myself using that. Let's just hope you never have to. I did hear something about that on the radio. I had no idea it was you. you. Poor thing, you must be a nervous wreck. More numb than anything. How can I help? I don't know, Daniel. I mean, there's really nothing you could do. We're already staying at Charlotte's house until the police finish. Well, you're always welcome to stay with me. Thank you, but Maddie doesn't know you yet, and I do not want to involve you more than you already are. Wait, how am I involved? Kara only stayed the night because I went home with you. So I had to give your information to the police. Josh is already upset that we're not staying with him. He'd go ballistic if we went to stay with you. <laughs> yeah, I completely understand. Are you always this reasonable? <laughs> I'm just trying not to add to your troubles. I just wish, uh, I just wish there was some way I could help. Actually, I do need a home security system installed. You know anyone? Actually, that I can help with. Mm. I just recently had a system installed in my home. All right. uh, actually, it's the same company I use for all my buildings, so I can have someone out to you right away. Great. 
Thank you. You're welcome. like it. Definitely you. <laughs> I mean, it's not fancy like your place, but it's home. They installed everything pretty fast, huh? Yeah, they were great. Thanks for the recommendation. No more picking locks. Is that how the intruder got in? Yeah. There were no scratches on any of the locks, so whoever did this knew exactly what they were doing. Huh. But trust me, you'll sleep a lot better with this new system. I know I have. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's just, it's weird sleeping under surveillance. Sad times we live in. Hmm. Police have any leads yet? Not that I know of. Have they spoken to you yet? Uh, no. Uh, no one's even called me. Should I go see them? No. I'm sure they'll reach out to you. Yeah. Cars, funerals tomorrow. Hmm. I have a site inspection upstate tomorrow, but uh, I can cancel if you want me to come. No, Daniel, that's OK. I mean, thank you, but you didn't know her anyway. Yeah, I know. Just, just really want to be there for you. Use a secret code now. Ooh, what is it? We'll practice it a little bit later. Go wash up, dinner's ready. And these barely work. Can we get new ones soon? When I get around to it, Maddie, I kind of have my hands full. Cool. Love you, baby. Thanks for dropping her so off. So, are you gonna give me the code or what? I prefer not to. Are you serious? Somebody got killed in this house with my daughter in the other room. What if I gotta get in here, Hannah? Don't be ridiculous. You know what? I don't want, I don't want my daughter meeting this dude. I don't want her interacting with some guy you met on some date nap. You hear me? You should know. I have cameras covering every angle of this house, inside and out. So if you ever stalk me again, I will go back to court, and it won't be about the visitation schedule this time. Baby, watch what you're doing. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Great, I'm great. Ready for a proper introduction? I'm a little nervous, I gotta admit. Don't be, she'll love you. Hi. Hey. We're tall. Thank you. And you're beautiful and very observant. <laughs> hey, I got you something. A bribe, huh? Smart move. <laughs> How did you know? I heard a little room of yours were broken. Those are busted. <laughs> but these are awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys hungry? Yes. <laughs> Starving. Another one? OK. How's that pain level? About a six. Mm. Is that high? It's not so high if I'm not moving. Well, ironically, it's the movement that heals. Hannah, it's you. I couldn't even walk a month ago, and now look at me. I'm almost walking. We'll get you running again in a few months. Just you wait and see. Come on, Beth. Take a deep breath, deep breath. I was scared. I love the height. You just got to work on that stick, OK? Good job. You're getting better at that every time. I'm about to put you on a team or something. If mom says yes. 
Of course she'll say yes. She'd do anything to make her baby happy. What about you? What about me? Do you want mom to be happy? Sure, I do. And then why are you always mad at her? It seemed that way. The truth is, Daddy, Daddy made some really big mistakes. And he's trying to fix things so that we can be a family again. It's just taking Mom a little time to, to trust me again, that's all. Maybe she doesn't want us to be a family like that. She's starting to be happy with Daniel. With Daniel? So you, you met him already? He bought me AirPods. Really? OK. Uh, Daddy has something he has to do real quick. I'm gonna take you to Gramps for a little while. How did you know I was here? I'm your emergency contact. Where's Maddie? She's with mom. Josh, you know she doesn't like being what there. What happened to you? Who did this? Ma'am, is he allowed to be in here? I'm sorry. We had to sedate Hannah to treat her wounds. How long Perhaps before this uh, wears off, ma'am? Better you come back when she's ready for company. I'm not company. I'm her husband. Ma'am, he's not my husband. We got a divorce, and he's acting like we didn't. OK, girls. It's pretty conclusive. It was Hannah they were trying to kill the whole time? Kara would be alive if it weren't for me. Hannah, listen. I'm really going to need you to focus on the first moments of the attack. Was he wearing a mask? No. Uh, were there any identifying features at all? All I saw was the belt come in my face. So I put my hands up, and I just kept pushing so I wouldn't get choked. And then somehow, the person. 
And then all of a sudden, I felt this really sharp pain in the back of my head. You're stronger than you look. Have you spoken to anyone since? No, just you and Charlotte and Josh. The doctors probably called him. So not Daniel? No. Why not? I don't know. I mean, I didn't really think to call him. Why? Have you spoken to him? Well, we have eyes on him. Where was he when this happened? We're looking into that. So he's a suspect? Him and everyone else you know. Did you find the boat? Excuse me? Hannah said it flew away. They must not have been able to find it, or else they wouldn't have thrown her in the steam room. They would have finished the job. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it just flew up on top of the locker. I mean, they wouldn't have been able to find it. It was so dark. So it has to be there. You can find fingerprints. What do you mean? She has this odd vibe, like she disapproves of us somehow. I mean, it can't be easy doing that job. Well, sure. But she does this tough guy act a little too much, don't you think? I mean, you can be a strong woman and still show empathy. I mean, yeah, but maybe she's just desensitized. I see that a lot with surgical colleagues at my job who have to piece back people together after catastrophes. It's like a defense mechanism. How? How do you always see the good in people? <laughs> Not always. You were there for all those dumb dates I had. Uh-huh. You don't think any of those guys are capable of doing this, do you? I mean, how would we know? Did he have your phone number? No. You know you can find out pretty much anything about anyone if you have their phone number. I mean, yeah, but I never contacted them at all, only through the app, like you told me to. No one even knew my last name, except for Daniel. I mean, any one of those guys could have waited outside, followed you home, and then Josh. You know, I can't believe that detective isn't looking into him more. I mean, he was outside stalking you the same night the car was killed. I mean, yeah, but she says that they have traffic cam footage that confirms the time he said that he left. So what? I mean, the fact that he was here is creepy enough. Maybe. To do that? Well, you just got a new security system. It's pretty badass. And besides, there's safety in numbers. It's not necessary. I know we haven't known each other long, but your friendship means a lot to me. Boyfriends, they come, they go. But girlfriends? They stick around. I just don't want all this to splash back on you or no one else that I care about. One thing is clear, though. I do need to toughen up. Why am I just now hearing about this? It's been three days. Like, I want to be there for you. I want to help you. Daniel, it's not that I didn't want to see you. It's just... I've been going through a lot of chaos. Yeah, I mean, this is crazy. Like, why you? I don't know. I keep thinking that someone must have me confused with somebody else. You think maybe you may have witnessed something or overheard a conversation you probably shouldn't have? Like what? Well, I don't know. I mean, you see it all the time in the movies, right? People get caught up in these crazy things that has nothing to do with them? Well, the only new thing that I got caught up in is that app. And you. Hang on one second here. Like, in a million years, I could never hurt you or anyone for that matter. And I hope you believe that. It's not like you have anything to gain with me gone, but who does? I just, I keep thinking about how my life has gone so crazy since I've been using that app. It's funny you say that, because I had the very same thought right before I met you. I was going to delete the damn thing. 
Yeah, so you said, but you've never explained why. Yeah. I met this girl. Strong, striking woman. It was all kind of whirlwind, you know? And things started to change when she stayed the night over, like, instantly. And she got all territorial, started making all these plans for us. And she got my phone. Started accusing me of cheating with women that I'd match with in the app. Were you? No. Of course she wouldn't believe me, got super nasty, and I shut it down. But she kept coming around. And I made the mistake of letting her stay over again. And that very next morning, we had another massive blowout. About what? Halloween costumes. She wanted us to plan a theme together in March. With Halloween more than six months away. Like last March? Yes. But we've only been seeing each other since April. Yes. Is that bad? I mean, it wasn't like we were in contact or anything like that. I, in fact, I even had to go to the police. Wait, what, what are you? You're not calling for a car, are you? Oh, Hannah, come on, please don't, okay? Look, I already bought us dinner and everything, like... <sighs> okay, 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 look. If you really want to go home, at least let me drive you, all right? I mean, I can pack up dinner and... and we can eat at your place. Maddie's with her dad, right? Wait, how do you know that? I just... Assume because you're here and you didn't mention anything. Wait, 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 what, what, are you, what are you doing? Hey, hey, listen. Daniel, please, I just, I need to figure this out on my own. All right, so. I ruled out all the guys you met at the cafe. None of them fit for this. Not even angry guy? Tom Strict. Yeah, no. He's still angry. You know he asked to file a nuisance complaint over his neighbor's dog? So that leaves Josh and Daniel. Well, I did confirm that Josh went back to his office during the time of your attack. Where was Daniel? That I can't really say for sure. But you have evidence that points to him. Enough for me to tell you to cut off all contact with him immediately. Hey, you know I've been Team Daniel since the beginning. I'm so glad to hear from you. You're not going to like what I have to say. Wait, please don't tell me we're over. For now. I mean, I don't get it. Surely you need me closer with everything that's going on, right? Look, I just... I can't bear to think of you alone and in danger. I'm not going to be alone, Daniel. Uh, Charlotte's moving in today. Well, that's something, at least. Hey, do me a favor. What? Have lunch with me? I mean, there's some things that I haven't said. Because I was trying to be sensible, but there's just too much at stake now. Look, just hear me out, okay? And if you still want to take a break, then I can respect that. Um, okay. Yeah, um, tomorrow. At Charlotte's Cafe. 2 p.m.? Thank you. How long have you had your cafe? Going on six months. It's been going well. Touch wood. Hmm. What about you? How long you been in the forest? Oh, 10 years, give or take. Is it super stressful? Most of the time. Kids? I'm divorced, thankfully. Sorry. Is it a tough one? It almost killed me. Well, he almost killed me. 
literally. Yeah, I know. I look all tough and invincible now. I wasn't always this way. Mm. Do you mind if I ask what happened? <sighs> he was a powerful man with a high profile job. But in private, he was a raging alcoholic. And he took all his stress out on me. Mm. One day, he just went too far. I survived, but it was a long recovery. You know, I had to have my face reconstructed. Ouch. Yeah. I swore I'd never let anyone treat me like that again, so here I am, reinvented. Well, that's amazing. What about relationships? Are you involved? Actually, <laughs> I'm with a wonderful man right now. You know, when it's all said and done, it really comes down to just two things, good and bad. And now that I have a good one, I'm never gonna let him go. Okay, <laughs> does he have a brother? Because I can't seem to find love or money in any of these men. I'm sorry, he's the only child, girl. Damn. <laughs> What's with the guilty? You supposed to shut it down, not arrange another date? He said he had some things he had to say. This is a murder investigation. You do realize he could be the one that's trying to kill you? But why? He has no motive. I'm supposed to protect you. And you're making this twice as hard. All right. You're gonna go in her place and you're wearing a wire. Is that really necessary? Yes. And I really don't want you anywhere near him. And who knows, maybe if you're wearing a wire, he might slip up and say something incriminating. Fine. But I'm able to sit with you and listen to what they have to say, right? If you must. It'll be fine. Get him to talk about Hannah, what drew him to her, where he thinks this is going. Why? Because if she gets his guard down, we'll get a sense of his psychology. And people give themselves away when you're listening hard enough. Okay, now you're scaring me. I mean, we can call this whole thing off right now. No, I'll be okay. Where were you to be? In my car, right outside the back door. talk sure come in why not they talked her out of it who did she's confused daniel she has to keep her head down until the police tell her she's safe okay where is she now? At Josh's. You really think she's safe with that guy? We have a child together. History. Hey, yeah, one she's trying to get away from. Are you in love with Hannah? <laughs> now, if I say yes, you're going to think I'm nuts. Well, are you? I care a lot, I guess, if that's what you're asking. And I do see a future with her, so I, that's something I've, I've never said out loud to anyone. What is it about her? The way I feel when I'm with her. How much I think about her when I'm not. She has this amazing maternal quality about her that I find extremely compelling. And this really made me think about my life's purpose differently. Purpose? Yeah, I didn't grow up with any brothers or sisters or cousins, so I was properly spoiled. 
It's hard to break out of that me, myself, and it's really made me think about what it's like to be a husband, to be a father, to take full responsibility for someone other than myself. I just came to convince her to take a look at some bodyguards. I've already interviewed several, so if she chooses one, I'll be more than happy to pay whatever the cost. I just don't want her out here unprotected. Wow. That is so considerate. <laughs> and he's got a hell of a hero complex. You don't see this as him just being a nice guy? You listen to the words and not what's behind them. He's trying to control you, take you over, remove your power. And correct me if I'm wrong, isn't that the same reason you divorced the last guy? You must have a different perspective on this, huh? With your job and everything? I mean, I learned the hard way, but yes, I do understand men in a way that most women don't. Really? And how is that? I deal with a lot of alphas. And I'm not just talking about criminals. Listen, whatever face a man presents on the outside, his whole goal is to get his needs met. And the only way to survive that is to stay a few steps ahead. But if everything is so tactical, then how do you manage on having an honest relationship with someone? I mean, it's tricky, but it's possible. I didn't just learn to become strong emotionally. I also learned how to become strong professionally. I'm a trained assassin if I need to be, and any man who knows me knows that. That cuts through a lot of BS. But you... It's like you seem to have something that they want. Like your ex is desperate to get you back. Big Daniel over here is seeing a future with you, I mean. Maybe there's something to that helpless damsel act. Oh, shoot, I have to go. Maddie has a school performance and Josh forgot her costume. Is she going home with you later? Probably, why? I just want to be sure that you're not going to be alone between the school and the house. I'll make sure I won't be. Okay. Hey. Hey. What have the police been saying? Nothing. No one's even come to see me. Really? Yeah. Then how do they know where you were the night that Hannah was attacked? I don't know. Maybe they talked to one of my employees and no one said anything. Huh. Okay. You know, Daniel said no one from the police contacted him. How could that be? Because we're watching. We'll just wait. He'll make a mistake sooner or later. Yeah, but what if he's not your guy? He, he seems to really like Hannah. He's even talking about marriage. <laughs> he didn't say that. He kind of did. He even wants to buy security, but I'm not sure why. I mean, shouldn't the police give her security detail? <laughs> that's, that's not my call. Then whose call is it? The police chief. Behind my back? No, I mean, if you were to take her in and advocate for her. We're a smaller division. We don't even have the resources for that. Then Hannah should let Daniel get her a bodyguard. I'll talk her into it.
Officer Franco needs to speak with you. Not right now, please. Okay. You want me to take you home with me? Mom's home with Maddie? Okay. I really need that statement. He's going to have to wait. And he's family right now. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. I'll go ahead and organize that for you. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, then we'll just have to wait until the police go ahead and um, release her remains. Yeah, I can go over there in the morning. Okay, you can call me anytime. Me neither. What was that? Sure. I heard you said you were going somewhere. Yeah, Charlotte's place. I have to pack up her stuff. Man, I shouldn't follow you. I mean, it's the least I can do. All right. I'll take Maddie to school, and then I'll drop you off. It's fine, Josh. I can handle it. So... No, you can't. In fact, you aren't going anywhere else alone. I understand you don't care about losing me. But I'm sure you don't want Maddie to grow up with her mother. So from this point on, there'll be no more arguing. No more sneaking around. Wherever you go, someone's going with you. I think it's uh, wiser that you restrict this conversation to uh, just the three of us. Sorry, Josh. Maybe you can go and get some packing boxes for Charlotte stuff. All right. Text me as soon as you're done. Okay. Look, whoever's doing this has some specific expertise. They knew which wires to cut to the camera feed and which wires to cut the power to the locks. We need access to your online accounts so we can check the feed immediately before. OK, um, they should be on my iPad in my room. Who else knew the door? Oh. Do you know this platform well? No. I know how to do it. Let me see. What time was it when you last spoke to Charlotte? I can tell you exactly. Um, let's see. At 6.40. I unlocked the door for her, and I let her know I'd be home by 8, but I got caught up with Maddie. Oh, damn it. The footage is gone. Yesterday's entire file. It just happened seconds ago. I was scrolling, and it disappeared right in front of my eyes. Did you see anything? I just opened it. Yeah, somebody else must be logged in. No, it says single user. <sighs> Who do you know at the security company? Just the guys that did the install. How did you hear about them? Daniel, he said that they did a few installs for him. He knows this platform well. Yeah, but he doesn't know my login. Yeah, it must be a backup on a server. I'll get right on it. Well, hold on for a minute. We have to be really careful, because if Daniel is an important client of theirs, he might have some influence. He might even have a guy on the inside. It's a bit of a stretch. But if you say so, what about Hannah's security detail? Should I put in an order? Wait, what exactly is that going to involve? We'll have an officer with you around the clock as soon as we assign one to you. Do you have anything to do today? Yeah, I have a few appointments this afternoon. I'll put a rush in at the station. I'll shadow her until it's approved. All right. Come on. <laughs> Just breathe, breathe. You're almost there. Just breathe. Remember to breathe. I told you I could do it in a few weeks. I am so proud of you. I wish all my patients... I'm sorry. I just... I've been going through a lot recently. Like what? A really good friend of mine passed away. Actually, two really good friends of mine. They were both murdered. Oh my god. Dr. Hannah, I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. Okay. <laughs> Come on. You're almost there. Let's go. Breathe. 
See? Look at you! <laughs> You shouldn't be here. Well, I heard the news. I had to come see you. Are you okay? What do you think? Poor Charlotte, I mean, she... She was so full of life. You need to leave, Daniel. Oh, wait, you can't possibly think I had anything to do with this. I don't know what to think. But you must know that I could never murder anyone. Especially someone like Charlotte. I mean, I really liked her. I, I think she liked me too. I mean, we talked for ages yesterday. Yeah, Daniel, she did like you. But what am I supposed to do? Ever since I met you, my life has gone crazy. Look, I'm not saying that this whole thing is your fault, but I just need space, okay? Can you at least just check out some of the security guards that I interviewed? I mean, I already put the company on you retainers. You shouldn't have done that. I already have a police detail. Where? You're standing here, out in the open, completely unprotected. Look, please, tell me you're not still staying in that house. No, I moved in with Josh. What is this? Daniel, this is Maddie's dad, Josh. Daniel? Haven't you caused enough trouble, man? Haven't you? Look, I don't know how, but I don't know why, but this guy has something to do with all of this. It seems to me like you're the only one here with anything to gain. What the hell are you talking about? Well, you want a Hannah back under your roof, right? Mission accomplished. Why, why would I try to kill Hannah if I wanted it back? What sense does that make? Explain Wait, that to me. Stop. Does it make Both sense to please. me either? Please, that's enough. Maddie's waiting on us, Anna. No, Josh, she's waiting on you, not me. I'm not leaving you alone. I told you that. Let's go. Why are you talking to this guy? I told you to stop talking to people unless I'm around. Let's go. What the hell was that about? I have to observe him. Right. You do that a lot. Who else needs to die before you make a move? This is a murder investigation, Hannah. I can't just arrest him if the charges aren't going to stick. But you're certain it's Daniel? I mean, I can't say that word for sure. But it's just a matter of time. Maddie just got in the shower. You need any help? No, I'm good. But can you tell her to stop putting her clothes in my laundry? All that skateboard muck on my stuff. <laughs> sure, Josh. Hey, um, are you with Josh right now? Yeah, he's in the kitchen. Okay, I'm gonna need you to come meet me at Charlotte's, but I need you to come alone. Why? 
I have some footage you need to see from the night Carl was killed. Of Josh? I know he was there. And not when he said he was. Okay, I'll bring Maddie. No, for once, just do what I say. I'm not leaving her. You're the one in danger, not Maddie. Come now, and hurry. Why did we run out on dinner? Dad is going to get mad. Because the detective has something that mommy needs to see. And given all that's happened, I don't want to be anywhere without you. Why couldn't you just send it? I don't know, sweetie. Maybe she couldn't. Hi. Hi, how can I help you? I'm here to speak with the person investigating the recent murders, uh, Cara Jackson and Charlotte Johnson. Franco, we need you out front. OK, thank you. Help you out in a sec. Hannah! Maddie! I know she didn't leave here. You're investigating the uh, murders of Carr and Charlie, right? And that would be Detective Byron. Jody Byron? Yes. Oh, my God. What, you get some information? I have a protective order against her. Uh, Detective Byron. You do? Yeah. Uh, Jody and I, we the target of these attacks. She's my girlfriend. Uh, can you find Jody while I try, Hannah? You got a GPS on Jody's car. Don't answer that, Maddie. Why not? You just have to trust me. I'm gonna go inside for a few minutes. Please. Do not answer this door for anyone. Just mommy, even if dad comes, okay? You're scaring me. No, baby, don't be scared. You have your ear pods? Okay, put them in. Watch a movie, play a game, but do not get out this car, you promise? But mom, I'm scared. Um, Hannah Stan with her ex, Josh. Do you have his address? That's not where Jody's at. She's right next to Hannah's house. Sweetie, I don't know what's going on with this footage, but given all that's happened, it's probably something you shouldn't see. I need you to stay in here and I'll be back as quick as I can, okay? What is that? You mean, who is that? What a joke. It's Daniel. My Daniel. I did not know he was seeing you. Oh, sure you didn't, little Miss Innocent. Oh, my God. All this over a man? I thought you said you were strong. You're pathetic. <laughs> this is why he left you. This is why you're never gonna see your daughter again. Mommy. Baby. 
You okay? Yeah. Are you hurt? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You cannot afford an attorney. One will be provided for you. It was supposed to be us. Nah, it was never gonna be a us. You're not what you seem. You are. Professional baby looks nice. Thank you for being flexible with the schedule. Oh, well, you know, I'm not always the villain you made me out to be. I'll be back. I'll call you every single day. You're only going to be gone for the weekend. Yeah, but it's going to be a long weekend. Daniel. How you doing? Hey, man. Um, look, um, I just wanted to say, uh, just, just take care of it for me, man. I will. And try not to, uh, to blow it like I did. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. All right. <laughs> I think with all my technical training, I would have this down. OK, give it to me. So the trick is, you twist this like that. Take this off the bottleneck really tight. Woo! <laughs> wow, impressive. <laughs> Charlotte taught me. Uh, yeah, that girl knew all the important things. Yeah. I never held my first gun before I met her. Mm. I owe her everything. Hey. To Charlotte. To Charlotte. And Cara. And us. We owe it to them not to screw this up. Definitely. You know, it still breaks my heart to think about everyone that suffered on the account of me. But hey, all that horror stuff is behind us now. And like I told you when I first met you, and I meant it. I'm going to do everything in my power to deserve this opportunity. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. On my count. 